Welcome back to another Carowinds construction update. In this video, we will be recapping all of the new progress on the new for 2023 area, Aeronautica Landing. We've gotten so many exciting updates out of Carowinds within the last month, so let's take a look at current progress. In terms of general updates, pavers are slowly being placed for the midways, and we are starting to see the paths slowly go in. Along with that, Terminal A is making steady progress as the patio concrete was poured, the stairs up to it were added, and the sign was added. Supports are also in for the covered part of the patio. A lot of signage is currently being placed throughout the area, including the main entrance sign which is nearing completion as detail is added. Many buildings are either vertical or almost complete at this point, including many of the ride operator booths, the frequent fryer stand which is the retheme of the fry shack, and the airdrop supply company which is a quick service shop. Since the weather can be extremely hot in the Carolinas in the summer, many shade structures are being added for guests to beat the heat and still enjoy their day. Now let's talk about individual ride progress. Let's start off with the Zamperla Disco Ride, Air Walker. Just recently, the lighting package was added to the side of the track, and the centerpiece of the main car is complete. Along with that, tall wooden fences have been placed along the area to restrict guests from being in the ride area while it is in motion. Air Racer is nearing full completion, as the cars and theming elements are fully completed. The entrance sign is prepared for placement, and fences have been added around the ride. The only things that need work at this point are the operator booth and queue line. Gyro Force is currently not installed, although it is at the park in a storage area by Fury 325, but I will have an update for when this ride goes in place. The Zamperla Windstars was a ride announced at a later date, but it is the sixth ride coming to this area, and we have no current updates on the ride's progress, although a large hangar building has appeared on the live cameras, which could be the queue line structure for the ride. Gearspin is the Zamperla Nebulas, and there have been a lot of progress on it, mainly regarding new the new theming centerpieces on the ride vehicles and the painted operator booth. Along with that, fences are being placed around it and signage is up for the ride, including the main ride sign. Hover and Dodge is the remodel of bumper cars, and the entire roof and sidings were redone and the ride is currently undergoing re-theming. The entrance sign, which will be the large control tower, is receiving finishing touches. That's all I have for this update. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, and comment down below which ride you are most excited for in this area. This is Zero G Coaster signing out. Have a great day, and see you on the next train.